City lawyer Hector Pinheiro has filed a voluminous complaint with authorities demanding an investigation into allegations of unconstitutional and deceptive practices by police. In one case, Mr. Pinheiro alleged police arrested a man on a shooting charge on scant evidence and after sending the brother of a gang officer home from the scene in a cab. Jose Batista, the officer's brother, was later charged with the shooting after video emerged of the shooting and of him in the area where the gun and casings were found. The shooting occurred February 20th, 2016, around 2.18 a.m. near a bar on Water Street when a man emerged from the shadows and fired shots in the direction of a vehicle. A responding officer to the scene, Jesus Candelaria, wrote in his report that when he got there, off-duty gang officer Tom Duffy had spoken to Batista at the scene. Batista told police a man named Grace Catania had shot at him. Officer Candelaria left the scene for several minutes, returning to find Batista gone. Officer Candelaria wrote in his report that where Batista had been standing, he found a gun magazine and nearby four spent bullet casings and a live bullet. Officer Candelaria labeled both Batista and Catania as victim slash suspect in his report. In his report taking out charges three days later, Lieutenant David Doherty identified Batista as the victim and Catania as a suspect. Catania was charged with armed assault with intent to murder, among other charges, and held pending a dangerousness hearing. At the dangerousness hearing, Mr. Catania's lawyer, Michael G. Cashman, noted police never took an official statement from Mr. Batista. Over the objection of a prosecutor, Mr. Cashman brought to the stand Officer Candelaria, who disclosed that Batista had been sent home in a cab by Officer Duffy. That fact is not in any of the police reports associated with the charges. The reports just say he could not be located. Mr. Cashman said he didn't know what happened between Officer Duffy and Batista, but that it, quote, doesn't sound right. After the dangerousness hearing, police obtained video of the area they said appeared to show Mr. Batista with a gun in his hand in the carport where the casings and gun was found. Police found the gun on top of the carport. It appears to have been thrown there before Mr. Batista encountered Officer Duffy. Video shows Mr. Batista being encountered by Officer Duffy. He is searched and at some point off the video sent home in a cab. Mr. Batista is the brother of gang officer Neftali Batista. Officer Duffy was in the gang unit as well. Batista was charged with the shooting following the recovery of the video. A warrant issued for him was returned as undeliverable to the court. Mr. Batista was arraigned about a year after the arrest warrant was issued. He is awaiting trial after being indicted into Worcester Superior Court.